All right, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Here we go. Here we are right here. All right, right at the top of the screen. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not on your own understanding, on thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. All right, this means call out to God, pray, whatever, you know. Acknowledge him. This is what John the Baptist said. I shall become less, and he shall become more. You know, I must decrease where he can increase. Okay. And then I like verse 7 too. A lot of people don't read, you know, the seventh verse here, but uh, they always go Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which is good verses, you know, but let's put 7 in there too. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Well, this don't mean be, fear the Lord. This don't mean be scared that he's going to hit you with a club or something, you know, when you get out of line. If that's the truth, I'd have knots all over my head. I get out of line all the time. But what it means is fear is, is respect, you know, is respect God. Okay, now we'll go back over here to somebody that did acknowledge God and he directed their past was Moses. Now, he was in, uh, when he was first bringing the, the, uh, the Hebrews out of, uh, Egypt, you know, they, they were slaves. And then he, he went, you know, he had to go into Pharaoh and said, let my people go and all this. You know, he said, let my people go, says the Lord. He was the mouthpiece for God. And actually Aaron was doing all the talking because uh, Moses had a stutter problem or something. Anyway, that's beside the point. But what I'm getting out here is when they were leaving, they were up against the Red Sea. You know, all y'all has probably heard about the parting of the sea. They were up against the Red Sea. And on this side was cliffs and stuff and there was nowhere to go well here comes the egyptian army we're talking about these uh the hebrew slaves they had animals with them and stuff but they were mostly walking they were on foot and here comes all the egyptian army with chariots and big horses and they're moving fast and they got swords and bow and arrows and and they looked up at at uh, moses and said was was there not enough graves in egypt that you had to bring us out here to the desert and die you know and uh and then in Exodus 14 and 13, Moses turned around and told them, well, actually, you know, was, M Moses was doing God's work, so it's really God that told him, but he, he said it through Moses. And my hair says, and Moses, right at the top of the screen, says, hey, Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which will show you today for the Egyptians who have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. So what happened was, you know, the waters parted. And then uh, all the Hebrew people got, got through there. We call them Hebrew children well, because they're children of God. They all got through the, the uh, Red Sea. And then the Egyptian army started through the Red Sea after them. And then when they all got into, you know, into the sea, the waters came and... Uh, together and it, and it drowned the whole army and pharaoh sat up on a hill watching his whole army die and he knew that god was the god that he should have been serving and he's seen the salvation of the lord he's he's he saved the people of uh the hebrew children all right thank you all for listening and um it's gonna get better from here so god bless y'all